Hi, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. The other day I got a phone call from Brian, another administrator on the site. He had some honeybees on his property and wanted to get them relocated. He found a guy named Mike that collects honeybees and asked if I wanted to suit up and help him move it. I'd never done it before, so I said, well, heck yeah. So take a look at the video and see if either one of us gets stung. Yeah, I just don't like the whole thing tipping one way or the other once it gets up on it. Yeah, it could be a mess. Yeah. Hopefully it lifts straight up, get underneath there and straight down. Yeah. Yep. I'm definitely getting active right now. Well, all this banging and noise up here probably don't do a whole lot for him. Oh, yeah. Snake. Really? Oh. Yeah. Snake? Huh? Snake? No. Sure. Oh, there you go, buddy. It's all kind of fun here. Yeah. I came across a couple weeks ago at Turkey Hunt, a blue racer, probably close to four feet. Wow. Huge. Yeah, it looks like they're underneath the pallet. Yeah, I'm hoping they're right in this. If there's a runner that runs this way, they're just in a little section, so they'll be relatively easy to get to and relocate them. We got a problem all throughout the world right now with uh, bees. I've heard anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of the world's population of honeybees are disappearing and they call it CCD, a colony collapse disorder. Mm -hmm. I've read a lot on it on different theories. It could be pesticide, herbicide, genetically altered seed, um, cell phones. The list goes on and on. But whatever it is, it's not good. Any chance I get to uh, save a hive, I usually try to. see them flying in but once no, you lift it up they'll be in yeah they're just flying around right now they're not really flying in uh they don't look huge but i see some here usually with a big hive but from 20 feet away you can hear them buzzing i just hear them around my head right now well i see them back in here yeah it's at least it looks like a couple feet long from what i can see huh? you ready with the tractor
beautiful. Yeah, that's relatively small. So. We're starting to be noisy now. Yeah. They're a little pissed off, probably, I imagine. I gotta get the queen, otherwise it's a waste of time. Okay. They're probably gonna get really stirred up. You guys might want to get back quite a ways, especially with the bright shirt on. They are attracted to bright colors. Box here, and hopefully the queen. I'm guessing she's in that big clump I had. One of the first ones I knocked off. If you get her, you're in pretty darn good shape. And I got probably back about 95% of them that are underneath here. I'll close the lid. This is what you got a pile of bees in. Nice. There's a little bit of honeycomb and that queen should be in there. We'll get it. They'll keep coming back to here for a little while, for a day or whatever. The ones that um, are out foraging. But uh, these right here, I'm gonna take them home and dump them into my box and hopefully they should have a great chance of living out. So, can't keep them in here too long because they, uh, they'll they dehydrate, they need water just like any anything else. and. Uh, I only live a couple miles away and I already got my hive ready, so take them home and dump them in and hopefully uh, they find a new home. This is pretty awesome. I didn't think I'd ever have a chance to do this. But usually there's, uh, I've found, I mean, hives where there's, because a good healthy hive will have up to uh, 50,000 bees in it. And this is real small compared to, I mean, you'd have, I've seen them before where it'd be enough to cover these, this whole area or at least half of this deck. So, but that's good that them, everything is isolated. So I think just brushing them down and putting them in here should be the ticket. And thank God I never got stung yet. I yeah, mean, neither yet. <laughs> I guess that answers that question, stung or not stung, huh? Yeah, it's only pain, it'll go away. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. <laughs>